today is probably the most special video I've ever done on my channel because a special arrival has arrived. Russian playing card Regalia by Katamundi and Shinlim. I guess all you guys know Shinlim is. I just received this. It came in this big box with a tutorial slip. I mean, I've never seen that. But okay, let's just get into this lovely deck of playing cards. So I saw this deck um, being shown by Shin Lim. I saw the the, um, the trailer, and I found this was quite quite look cool looking. So I looked it up, thirteen bucks. I had to pay for it myself, guys. I can't seem to open this up. I can never open this. Let me just. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Here it comes. So the deck. I've never used this deck before. We go. Here's the deck. So Regalia playing cards by Shin Lim. Produced by Shin Lim. I think can you see that? Produced by Shin Lim. Designed by Nick Lowe. Again on the other side. Bottom says ShinLimMagic.com. And then up here it says produced by Shin Lim again, and then you have Regalia with the two evil head. And this is, has a cool little hanging thing, so you can like hang it on your backpack and stuff. And then you take the second part. Now this looks lovely. As you can see, it's gold foil. That's the back design. Let's take these cards out. And I've heard that these cards are actually like in a special stack, so a special order when you get them. So they're not in new, the normal new deck order. Let's just look at this. Looks quite interesting. Um, I can't open this. I can never open these packages. They're so awkward. Let me just try and find a way to just open this. Just let me. Let me. Just, let me just. This. Just. Just let me. Okay. Never mind. Um, gonna have to find a different way. Just. Just wait for me. I'm about to come back. Just yes, goodbye. One second. Right, I'm back. And that didn't take very long. We're taking a uh, very little knife here to just cut through that. So I'm scared of breaking the cards here. Here we are. So that's the opening done. Now we just need to slice that open. So here we are. Here is the deck of the Gallia playing cards. So these are produced by Katamundi. And oh, oh wow, wow. Um. These feel amazing. These feel like as good as mint. So as I was saying, they come in shuffled, like pre-hand. I don't know why. Uh, so you get a few gaff cards, so you get a extra queen of spades. So you have that queen there, and you have another queen. Which is just here. So you get two queens of spades, and you get a blank card, so that can be useful. And oh wow, these feel so nice. They're just so good looking. They just just look at that dribble. Oh, you have to admit that's pretty cool. How about fan? Ah, oh, look, look, they're too slippery. Okay, so these look absolutely amazing. I mean, I could see some pretty cool magic you could do with these. I mean, look. Ooh. Oh, okay, never mind. I uh, just just ignore that. What print? We're playing card. Boom. Just like that. Anyway, let's just see how these shuffle. How exactly these shuffle. So a lot of people complain like gold foil playing cards, they stick and stuff, but wow, these these feel very nice, I must say. I'm not gonna be able to nail this anaconda, but let's try. Yeah, well, never mind. What I really, really love about these cards is like the the black build, like the gold so let's have a run through so the pips are normal so everything's normal apart from the gold add-ons and stuff 
as you can see, gold, 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 more gold. As you can see, everything's very standard. Uh, the Ace of Spades, like a regalia thingy magic. And then you get the two jokers. So the design is very basic, like the front place, but then the back is absolutely amazing. It just, uh, it's just let me do a good fun fan to show you how elegant these cards are. Got to be a fun fan of these. That's the best I can get it to. I guess the borders are like too thick or something. That's better. There's a nice fun fan. Anyway, very nice playing cards. I must say these, these, ooh, ooh. Look, this is lovely. Huh. So let's give this a rating. Um, uses for magic. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because obviously you get a double card, you get two matching jokers, lovely design and everything and stuff. But the thing is, you, these cards aren't marked, so that's a little problem. It's the only little criticism I have for this deck. Okay? Otherwise, um, handling. Quite nice, yeah. I'd say that's quite nice handling. Um, design. 10 out of 10. I love this design. It's just amazing. And the fact that you keep it simple, because Shinlin was saying that some people get confused when it's like a custom deck and stuff, and like you can't really see like what certain cards are and stuff. And people you, the days you usually get confused, so you know. But wow, does this deck just feels lovely. Let's try a, let's try a pass. Ugh, well, I can do the pass. Let's just... I'm gonna try a pass down here. Yeah, it feels nice. It's a nice pass. <laughs> you don't believe me, but never mind. Let's try a few color changes. Like, boom. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that was really nice. That was... Yeah. So, this deck is, feels absolutely beautiful. It feels lovely. The back design, I can't, you can't, you can't complain about this. So, apparently, these cards are like inspired from Russian faith. So, there's. It's all about Russian art. When Shin Lin went on a exhibition in Russia, let's just let's just try a card vanish. That's quite nice too. Top shot. Yeah, nailed it. Top shot. Yeah, one-handed cuts. I hate doing one-handed cuts with brand new decks because you slip around everywhere. But no, that was that was quite nice. And the card just, uh, just just no. Never mind. Overall, these cards feel absolutely amazing. I'm not telling you, but if you had your hands on these, wow, these. So this is a very big recommendation. Um, I love the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades looks really cool. Like Regalia, Regalia playing cards. So yeah, these are very lovely playing cards. Box design, absolutely. Just look at the gold box. It's just. Gotta admit, that's pretty cool. I can't seem to put the box the cards back in the box. But just just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> just just look at it. Just look at it. Tell me, just look at it. Just just look at Boom! Oh, look at that gold foil. I love this gold foil. It's just cool. Just look at that. Look at that. Lovely deck. And I love this little pouch thingy here too. That's quite cool. And you can fit that back in here. So Shin Lim and Cartoonie and Nick Blau, I think you did a great job. Absolutely amazing deck. It's gonna be on my top tens, going along with my other decks, which include Mint and Memento Mori. So you know we have quite a few on the good list deck. But guys, tell me in the comments, did you like this deck? Do you prefer this deck to any one of these two? Or which one's your favourite out of these three? Let me know in the comments. I've already done reviews on these two. This is the brand new one I just got today. Thanks, guys. Leave me a thumbs up. See ya. Bye.